Hold it. Pull it out, father. Pet him. Good job. Take that saddle pad off of him now. Put it back on there right quick. Good evening everybody. Welcome to supper time. I have some chicken in the Instant Pot. I just cut up those vegetables over there because I'm making a chicken pot pie. I'm only making one this time though. We have lots of hamburgers and hot dogs left over from last night. I think like five hamburgers and four or five hot dogs. Manly is singing into this cup over here like it's a microphone. So some of us are gonna have those leftovers for supper. Jacob though asked me a couple of days ago about a chicken pot pie or chicken and dumplings. And then this morning, yeah, pot pie. And then this morning, Titus asked about having a chicken pot pie for supper tonight. Thank you. Thank you. So I got those pie crusts that I was gonna use for the chocolate pie on the 4th of July. I should write a rhyme book. Anyway, yeah, I have those pie crusts, so I'm gonna use those to make this chicken pot pie. And I'm only gonna do one, like I said, because most of us are gonna eat the leftovers. I know Jacob and Titus will want chicken pot pie. I already asked Jonah and Aldra, they want hot dogs. I want a hamburger. And whatever Tyler wants, there will be enough for him of the chicken pot pie or hamburger or hot dog. So I've done a couple of videos, I think, on this chicken pot pie. I'll link those down below. It is the best chicken pot pie ever, like I've ever had anyway. It is so good and you know it must be good if your kids and your husband are always asking for it. It's kind of like the chicken and dumplings that we make. They are so good. I love grilled out cheeseburgers though. So if I can have a grilled out cheeseburger, I would pick that over chicken pot pie. Even though this is really good. Would you pick the cheeseburger or the pie? So normally I make two of these if everybody's gonna be eating the chicken pot pie. All right, I'm gonna turn this on to medium heat here. I have all my vegetables. I'm putting in a fourth of a cup of butter. And when that melts down, we're just gonna put the vegetables in there with that. While that's doing that, I'm gonna shred the chicken, my least favorite part. I'm thinking I might put it into the food processor to shred it this time, I think I am. And I did make extra chicken. The reason for that is I wanted to go ahead and cook. This chicken needed to be either cooked or put in the freezer. So I just went ahead and cooked all of it. And whatever we don't use for the chicken pot pie, I'm just gonna put in something and put it in the refrigerator and we'll have it tomorrow for chicken tacos. I found a straw down here. Don't know why that was here. Y'all, the jello cubes that we made, jello stained glass jello for the 4th of July, that was everybody's favorite dessert. Can y'all believe that? Over the chocolate pie, over the banana pudding, <laughs> that was everybody's favorite. We still have chocolate pie left and banana pudding, but that jello has been gone. They are very good. Like, I almost want to make another batch of it tonight to have for tomorrow. <laughs> And a lot of y'all were saying in the comments for Christmas, you could do red, white, and green. Oh my goodness, for Valentine's Day, you could do red and purple. Is there a purple jello? I think there's a grape jello in there. Okay, I'm dumping in the vegetables. Okay, so that was carrots, celery, onions, and garlic. Just gonna stir that around. Like I said, I'll link the videos down below where I show, you know, all the details. Okay. Sissy's carrying Manly around. She won't let him get down, acting like he's a little bitty baby. Aww. Ooh, he's growling. Oh goodness, I'm just dropping chicken everywhere. You could also use a rotisserie chicken for this. That works really good. I think the last time I made it, I may have used a rotisserie chicken. I know I have some time either for the pot pies or for the chicken and dumplings. So we just need three cups of shredded chicken for this recipe. So I have that here in this bowl. All of that chicken and all of this chicken, I'm gonna put it into a container and let it cool down and then we'll just stick it in the refrigerator. And we're one step closer to chicken tacos tomorrow. Hey, that's gonna be like a no cook night, except I do fry up the tortilla shells. But other than that, it'll be like a no cook night, almost. Unless I make refried beans and stuff. Never mind. Just never mind. I wonder when Manly's gonna get old enough to know he doesn't want to plague the baby anymore. He's loving it right now, because she keeps giving him snacks. He heard me say chicken, and he's in here saying, I want quack quack. You can give him a little piece. Mmm, he likes chicken, huh? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. okay, these are still cooking. What else do I need? Flour, parsley, salt, pepper. We also need thyme, but I've been out of it and haven't used it, and it's still really good. I'm sure it is really good with it, but it's still good even without it. Today, we've been playing outside most of the day, and while Manly took his nap, we watched a movie. Jonah and Sissy have been playing the apples to apples game. I'm gonna go ahead and put up my instant pot, this part of it anyway, since I'm done with it. Get it out of the way. There's that watermelon. 
I need to go ahead and slice it up. Okay, the vegetables are pretty tender, so I'm gonna go ahead and start putting the rest of my stuff in here. first training these things we just you know when we get them saddled we just kind of step up there and this is the way most horses about 90 percent of them whenever we training them this is the way they do there's no there's no bucking involved and we just kind of let the horse go where he wants to go dishes washed it still has about 25 minutes in the oven I set a timer for 20 minutes and then check it to see if I need to put some foil on top if the top is getting too brown especially around the edges so I put just a little bit of uh, foil I just kind of laid a sheet over the top of it and I'll let it finish cooking like that for about 25 more minutes mosquitoes are biting me I need to bring my thermosil thing around here to the front I just brought them out here to play while it's finishing up and I took out the hamburgers and hot dogs here comes manly looking like baby's day out crawling <laughs> Where are you going? He thinks something's wrong with her because she was being bending over. Did Cece try to make you take a nap? <laughs> he was fine with that game as long as it was the snacks, but when she started saying stuff about nap time, he was done. That was that game was over. Are you having fun? Yeah. You wanna go inside? No. Okay. <laughs> Do you remember last night when we were shooting the fireworks? <laughs> yeah. I came to sit over here because my cell phone has no signal over there, but it does right here. Like on that bench, no signal. Right here, signal. And I can really smell that chicken pot pie cooking. Like from right here, it smells like grandma's house. And just for a minute, you can close your eyes and just imagine that you're not the one who did the cooking. And it just feels wonderful like you're walking in to chicken pot pie. This is how they feel when they walk in to the chicken pot pie. It's beautiful. They'll probably be here just as it's coming out of the oven. Now she's pretending like she's doing a Walmart grocery pickup order. She's telling Manly they have to go pick up their groceries. <laughs> he's just playing along. He's, he's fine with it until she says nap. No nap. I hear the oven beeping. The pot pie is done.
Crafts are done. Jammies are on, and it is story time. Sissy picked the book of the night. We have the Bernstein Bears. Get ready for bed. <gasps> okay, Manly had to go get his blanket. Now he's ready. Here we go. It's evening in the Bear family's treehouse. Brother, sister, and Honey Bear are playing hide and seek. Sissy. Yeah, Sissy plays hide and seek, doesn't she? There's Sister Bear. It's getting late, says Mama. Time for bed. Where's Mama and Papa? <gasps> there they are. <laughs> now it's time to wash up, says Mama. Mama. Into the bath. Yeah, there's Mama. The cubs like to play with toy boats in the bath. <gasps> Manly likes to play with toy boats too, don't you? Look at all those boats. Man, they got a full tub of water. Hmm. I bet they splash and make a mess, don't they? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's Mama. Mama looks at the clock in the hall. It's getting late, she says. Time for your pajamas, says Papa. Soon they are fast asleep. Good night, everyone. Good night, see you tomorrow.